Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And we want to welcome you to Cavalcade of Food. Hi, everybody. And it is a cold and very snowy, like... Uh, Ten inches, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> we, we've got about probably seven now, and we're, it's still coming down. We're snowbound, So you're saying basically. it's a, a good... A good condition to be cooking a big pot of something, a right? A big pot of something, and we're, we're in the mood for Italian, and so you know what? We're going to make our version of chicken cacciatore, okay? And Ralph, this is one of those recipes where so many people have their own version of it, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, there's a million little variations. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I've got some chicken here. Uh, I've got a couple of breasts, some thighs, and some drumsticks, and I'm going to give it a little seasoning, and then in this Dutch oven here, Ralph, I've got um, some olive oil. Olive oil. I've got about Heating up. four tablespoons. Mm, I can smell it. Now, this is bone-in, okay? Oh. So, you hear that little sizzle? Mm-hmm. Um, I think, or at least in our experience... Turn that down a little bit. This dish, while you could certainly use boneless chicken pieces, this dish I think really tastes best with bone-in chicken. Yeah. The, the, because you know what, the chicken—it's almost like um, it's almost like a stew. Ah. Uh, so the chicken cooks. And it gets right the flavor over, from the marrow? Yes, exactly. The bones really release a lot of flavor. Now, what I did do, if you've noticed, is I pulled a lot of the excess skin off of the breasts and the thighs. That'll just kind of help take, so it won't be so it, it, it's fatty. Uh, and the other thing, too, is because it's a stew and it kind of braises, that skin can get kind of, oh... A little too um, chicharone. Yeah, it's fatty. <laughs> so anyway, so I took that off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just brown the chicken. We're certainly not cooking it all the way through. I'm going to put a brown on the chicken on both sides. So maybe three or four minutes on each side, and then I'll flip. Yeah, that kind of locks in the flavor. So, and it's all going to cook in this pot, by the okay. way. So this is our... I'm sorry, you said the oil was uh, just enough to cover the bottom? Yeah, I got about four tablespoons of olive oil in there. Okay. So while that's browning, I'm going to slice up a couple of green peppers, or this is kind of a green turning to orange pepper, and a couple of onions. Okay. I, I notice also you have some mushrooms here, and yeah. you know what cacciatore means? Um, in Italian? It means hunter. Hunter, hunter. That's right. I have heard so that. So that means it's a uh, hunter style, which involves things you would maybe find in the woods, Wood. like mushrooms and onions and okay. uh, tomatoes, that peppers. Makes sense. And you know, you can you can even uh, do the dish in a crock, uh, slow cooker, like a crock pot or whatever, uh, if you wanted to. Uh, and cook it a long time. That's a good thing to do on a, on a snowbound day, it too. Is. We We didn't think that far ahead. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slice up these onions here. And I'm doing it, you know, like... Pretty big chop. Well, I want, I want slices like that. Oh, I see. Okay. Is there a name for that? Well, I just call them half... Half rings? Half rings, yeah, exactly. But we're going to slice up these onions and then I'm going to slice up in thin slices the green pepper. Um, Try not to cry. Um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully it won't give me anything to cry about. But I will um, keep an eye on this chicken here. Yeah, it's really, fact, let's take a look at it. It's really going to town with the sizzle. Oh, that's nice. See that? Oh, wow. Just put a brown on it. That's all we want. Okay? You can smell it. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to flip these thighs. Once it's browned on the other side, I'll take this out of here and we'll do those four drumsticks. Gotcha. Okay? In the meantime, while that's doing that, I'm going to keep chopping up my onions and peppers. Uh, I bought onions that were sliced already, so... I don't have to worry about You mean that. mushrooms. Or mushrooms, thank you, that were sliced already. So I'm just going to get the rest of these vegetables cut. 
and we'll come back. We are making a cold weather chicken cacciatore. Cacciatore later. Okay, well, these drumsticks mm. are done. Who likes drumsticks? I do. Yes, you do. Okay, I'm going to take those out. Again, they're just browned. So this now, um, this is just to sear them, as you said. And exactly, not, not, just to not sear cooked. them. Not to cook. They're not cooked all the way through. They will be, but... Now, take a look at the bottom of that pan. You see all those bits? Uh, the brown on the bottom of the pan? Yes. That's the good stuff. And that Ooh. is the flavor. So now I'm going to put in my two onions, my two green peppers, and a half a pound of sliced mushrooms. And we're going to... S and P it. Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stir that around in that olive oil. Mm. And we're going to try to get, as, as we know when we cook vegetables, especially things like onions, mushrooms, there's a lot of water. A lot of moisture. It will re the water will release in the pan, and that will help us pick up that wonderful chicken flavor. That's at the bottom here. So a nice natural deglazing. Exactly. And we just want these to soften, okay? We're not gonna we're not gonna cook these uh, for a long right. time, but we want these vegetables to just get warm, release their liquid, and start to soften. And then actually what I'm gonna do is I've got three cloves of garlic here. Now, you could chop this up and put it in. I always like to run the garlic through a press. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna press out here three cloves of garlic and add that to the mix. I think at this point too, you could, if you wanted to use wine, you could deglaze it with a red wine if you were from the north of Italy. No, white wine if you were from the north of Italy, and a wait a minute. Well, yes, you. That's right. White wine from the south. No, north. <laughs> I'm getting all mixed up. White wine from the north. Red wine from the south is how they how I read that they uh, deglaze and add some wine to this recipe. Yes, you, you absolutely could do that. Um, but but I'm gonna we're Americans, so we're going <laughs> to add Gator, Gatorade. <laughs> Kool-Aid, no. But see, look what's happening at the bottom of the pan. Look at oh, that yeah, liquid so already, that's, see? That's natural without yeah. using any extra so, liquid. Well, yay, yeah, you know, we like to cook with a little wine, too. That's oh. not bad. And certainly, we're going to sort of now build this, <clears throat> Ralph. We're going to let these vegetables cook a little longer, get a little softer. Then we have a sauce that we're going to make uh, to go with it. So cacciatore is generally cooked in a red sauce. Mm -hmm. So for people who make their own sauce, uh, you could use that if you had something ready made. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a large can, 28 ounces, of plum tomatoes, okay? And then I have the same size can of just already a tomato sauce. This is tomato sauce, not in the same way that, uh, say, uh, a jarred pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. This has nothing in it but, but, but tomatoes, right. okay? So that's all that's in here. Um, and that, along with some other seasoning and uh, the wonderful flavor of these vegetables, is going to create our sauce then we'll add the chicken in you'll see how it all comes together it's all going to come together but yep. this is the base and boy does it smell good okay ralph so now these have been cooking away for oh almost about 10 minutes now look how soft everything mm -hmm. is and nice and we've totally deglazed the bottom of the pan with the liquid from the mm -hmm. from the veg and by the way you see this these little orange bits in here what I added was, because I didn't think I had any, I added a small carrot because um, that will give just a little touch of sweetness. You know, sometimes with tomato sauce, you might add a pinch of sugar or something mm -hmm. to kind of counteract the acidity. Right. A carrot will do the same thing. Um, and I didn't think I had any carrots, but I was looking in the back of the fridge for something else, and there was a bag of carrots back there. What's up, so, Doc? <laughs> so anyway, so I diced up uh, a, just a, you know, it wasn't a very big carrot, but anyways, I threw that in too, okay? That's going to 
go with this tomato. That's going to go. So now here's what I've got. I've got my can of tomatoes. And I'm going in. Wow. These are plum tomatoes. These are whole tomatoes in like puree. I've never puree. seen anybody snip a tomato in a can with the scissors. Like well, that. you know what? You could pour this out on something and cut them up. Wow, but that's, but that's such a mess. Look, and I just... That's, a st that's what we call a step saver. I just do this. You take your kitchen shears and you just get in there and you just cut those tomatoes up. They will break down over time. Uh, when they're cooking in the sauce. Yeah, if we were cooking this for hours and hours and hours, I probably wouldn't even bother. Right. Uh, because uh, the tomatoes would break down, but we're not cooking it that for that many hours. So I'm going to put that in. So let's see. Got most of them. Mm. You can go back in and get those. Smells good. Okay. But just give them a rough chop because it's always nice to have the texture yeah, of those little, tomatoes. Little right? So we've got that, and I can get my thumb out of these scissors, we'll be in good shape. Okay, now again, I'm going to add just a can of tomato sauce. There we go. Now, we've got our base. So Look there are these main three steps so far, and there's even more to come, but they're all fun steps. I like that. Yeah, so we've got that. And I'm going to just rinse this, remember what our moms used to do, right? Rinse yeah. these cans out. Don't waste. Don't waste. Waste not, want not. Because there's always some goodness still to be had. I'll put that in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the chicken in a second. But before I do, we're going to add a little seasoning to the sauce. Oh, one. I was wondering. Okay, so let's, let's put a bay leaf in there. Bay leaf. Okay, right. I got one nice big bay leaf. We're gonna stir that in there. Then, if you had this time of year, you know, I miss when we're at the cottage during the summer because we have all those wonderful fresh herbs growing in the herb garden. But I'm gonna put in a couple of teaspoons of parsley, oh. dried parsley. Okay, and then. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of, you could use oregano or basil or whatever. I'm going to put in just some, this is an Italian seasoning mix. Like so a blend. Yeah, so it's kind of got everything in it. We're going to put in a teaspoon of that. Then, I like to put in this recipe, I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, okay? Oh. That'll give just a little bit of heat. All right blend that in. I love the parsley because it's just, it adds the green in it, mm -hmm. you know. Parsley doesn't have a um, strong flavor, strong flavor, but it adds a certain freshness. Certain freshness, even okay. when it's dried. There we go. So now we kind of have our sauce. Now we're going to take our chicken, Ralph, and we're going to put our chicken in the sauce. Oh. And that's how it continues. How, how it will continue to cook, or and finish cooking, right? Exactly. So let's put our chicken in there. And now we like a lot of sauce because we're going to serve this over pasta. That's what I was going to say was right? the final step. So there's these fun steps leading up to this making chicken cacciatore, but like I said, they're all fun steps. They browning, are. browning the chicken, getting those vegetables all nice and sauteed and <coughs> deglazed getting the tomato and now putting it all together can't wait to finalize it with the pasta now we're going to take our lid we're going to bring this up to a simmer and we're going to let that cook for about an hour okay and let that chicken get cooked and nice and tender and while that's doing that in a little while i will uh We'll make, uh, we'll make some pasta. I think we talked about it, and we're going to do some angel hair. So you could do different uh, types of pasta. Would it, yeah, and I like to, well, we'll cook the pasta. I like to just serve it on a nice big platter and mm. let everybody bar themselves. Right. Cacciatore has been simmering <sighs> oh, Look at that. for like, oh, an hour. Look, at, it's like bubbling like a cauldron of delicious aromas and flavors and good stuff we're gonna move this over here so I've cooked um, 
a pound of angel hair pasta. And what we're going to do is look at that. We're going to take our wonderful cacciatore and we're going to just lay that those big pieces of chicken right here those drumsticks got some thighs in here somewhere there we are and of course with the sauce what does that look good now I know that we were talking earlier about other things you could serve this on if you didn't want to serve it on pasta say um, and what was it that you saw, Ralph, that people... Oh, uh, sometimes it's served over rice. Some over rice. Or different types of pasta mm -hmm. instead of spaghetti. Um, yeah, certainly you could use, you know, all kinds of noodles, rice. You really want something, though, to grab that sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay? And those vegetables. And if that doesn't... Now, you take that to the table, okay? You take that to the table. With a nice salad. Nice salad. Some red wine. Some red wine. Maybe some nice, nice crusty, crust, you, we think crusty the same bread. Way, crusty bread. And you know what? And you've got yourself a wonderful cold weather meal. And we've been listening to Pete Rugolo, who was born in Sicily. And I think he would, even though we didn't cook with the red wine in the sauce, Having some red wine to go with it, I think, is just might about kind right. of dish. Might be his kind of dish. So there it is, folks. Our version of chicken cacciatore. And we cannot wait to dig in. Look at that steam coming I off know. of it. It's hot. We're going to have to, we have to <laughs> gonna wait a few minutes, let it cool off. Thank you so much for being a part of this one. We hope you are all warm and well wherever you may be, especially if you're here in the Midwest. And you know what? We look forward to seeing you next time right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Let's dig in. Yum.